How can we defend ourselves against those who cause us suffering? And what is the best way to deal with those who have harmed us? Numerous people find themselves constantly exposed to malice, offense, and resentment from others, whether it is in the work context among friends or even within their own family. Regardless of the situation, the most significant element is the inner pain generated by these harmful behaviors. These experiences leave invisible, yet deeply lacerating wounds in us that can scar us for our entire existence. Through the next Zen narrative, you will learn how to protect yourself and your serenity from external attacks. Therefore, we invite you to stay with us until the conclusion. For through the Buddhist teaching and the suggestions we will provide, you will understand the most effective method to maintain your emotional stability and keep those harmful people at a distance. However, before we move on, if you are not yet part of our community, we urge you to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to keep up to date with our latest content dedicated to spiritual and personal well-being. Located deep in the heart of Japan, surrounded by ancient forest trees, stood an ancient Buddhist monastery, a place of extreme serenity and peace. Here lived the respected Master Lin, an individual of great wisdom and goodness, whose words served as a luminous guide for his faithful disciples. Next to him, disciples studied the Buddha's doctrines, striving to develop their own spiritual tranquility and a feeling of universal compassion. On one occasion, during an evening meeting, a young disciple expressed discomfort at the insults he had received from individuals who had abused his trust, inflicting deep wounds on him. Master Lin intervened. The Buddha taught us to be compassionate toward others, however. How can we remain indifferent to those who repeatedly inflict pain, exploit and insult us? It would not be fair to passively accept such abuse without any reaction toward these aggressors. With a calm expression, Master Lin asked his disciples to form a circle around him, then picked up a stone and threw it into the waters of a pond. Observe the waves generated, the teacher urged, and notice how the simple act of throwing the stone causes waves in the surrounding water. The disciples watched intently as the waves spread outward from the point where the stone had touched the water, expanding outward until they lapped at the banks of the pond. Similarly, the sage continued, each of our actions and reactions affects the environment around us. It is essential, therefore, to be able to distinguish the moments when it is preferable to let it go from those when it is appropriate to take action. Master Lin shared with them an anecdote about the Buddha. Legend has it that, during a walk in a village, the Buddha was harshly insulted by a man who directed an unceasing stream of insults and threats at him. Lin narrated, the disciples who witnessed the incident expected a reaction from the Buddha, but he kept incredibly calm and continued on his way without showing annoyance or bitterness. Once away from the man, a surprised disciple asked him, Master, how did you manage to keep calm in the face of such insults? Why did you not retort to defend yourself? The Buddha replied with a smile, If someone gives you a gift and you decide not to accept it, whose gift is it? The disciple replied, It remains with the one who offered it to me. That's right, confirmed the Buddha. The same principle applies to insults and threats. If you do not receive them, if you do not respond, they remain with the one who expressed them. Remember, beloved disciples, that responding with resentment and anger is like drinking poison hoping to harm others. But in the end, the greatest damage is done by us. Listening attentively, the disciples meditated on Master Lin's statements and the Buddha's anecdote, absorbing the valuable lesson of keeping calm in the face of provocation. Thinking back to personal situations in which they had felt involved, they began to realize that the act of not responding does not denote weakness, but is instead a sign of profound wisdom and self-mastery. To further emphasize the teaching he had just given, Master Lin led the disciples to a peaceful area of the monastery and began to discuss the topic of human pain. He exposed how people who inflict suffering on others are generally caught in a whirlpool of affliction and discontent. Those who offend and harm, the Master stated, are strangers to genuine joy, for they are enveloped in feelings of anger, 
envy, and frustration. Now we would like to know your opinion on this issue. Share your opinion in the comments and let's discuss it together. If you are enjoying the content, please leave a like and share it. Then you can contribute to the creation of new value-packed videos every day. And now let's continue our story. As the disciples pondered the Master's words and his teaching, Lin continued, Consider the moments when you feel truly happy and fulfilled. Have you ever felt the need to denigrate or hurt someone in order to enhance your well-being? To their negative response with a gesture of his head, Master Lin stated, In fact, genuine happiness does not come from causing others suffering, but rather from instilling love, compassion, and inner serenity. Therefore, beloved disciples, when faced with those who treat us unjustly and inflict pain on us, it is essential to take a moment to consider three important aspects. The first point to consider is that responding in anger harms us more than it does our attacker. If he has provoked us, his purpose is precisely to trigger a reaction from us. The absence of it will leave him frustrated and cause him to reflect. The second aspect concerns the fact that if he acts in such a way, he is probably experiencing a state of deep personal malaise and dissatisfaction. Those who are at peace with themselves and enjoy emotional stability will focus on their own happiness without feeling the need to harm others. Finally, the third point to keep in mind in the face of those who offend us is to continue on our path, maintaining an attitude of compassion toward them. The disciples, deeply touched by Lin's enlightened words and the teachings they received, pondered how to apply these lessons in their everyday existence. One among them, representing the common feeling, interpolated, Master Lin, I am deeply grateful to you for the teachings you have given us. However, I find it extremely difficult to remain calm in the face of behaviors that hurt me deeply, leaving me with indelible marks. We, human beings, tend to react instinctively or are so overwhelmed by pain that we cannot remain impassive. So how can we improve ourselves so that we can more easily manage to ignore such people and go on our way? With a smile, Lin stared the disciples in the eyes and said, I understand that it can be difficult not to respond to injustice. That is why, my dear ones, please pay attention to the advice I am about to give. The first step is to develop self-awareness before responding to wrong or inequity. It is crucial to be aware of one's emotional states and thoughts. Anger and rancor often spring directly from our immediate reactions. By pausing to reflect, we can better understand the context and prevent escalation. Cultivating patience on a daily basis is another practical method that I highly recommend. Keep in mind that patience is an invaluable virtue that facilitates maintaining serenity even in the most challenging situations. Devote yourself to daily meditation, finding even brief moments to reconnect with your deeper self and achieve a state of calm. This practice will enable you to remain balanced and decrease impulsive reactions in the face of pain inflicted by others. It is essential to understand that those who hurt us may be motivated by their own anxieties or ignorance. I am convinced that by practicing responding with benevolence rather than anger, you can eventually transform even the most arduous circumstances. What is more, beloved ones, try to see the positive side even in the most difficult times. Upon reflection, you will always find something good to put your attention on. Having a positive attitude toward life will enable you to face and overcome obstacles, preventing the harmful behavior of others from having a negative impact on you. As the disciples, grateful for the teaching they had received, prepared to express their thanks to Master Lin, he, with a smile, made a final reflection. Remember, in dealing with offenses, that genuine strength lies in knowing how not to respond and neglecting those who offend us. For the supreme goal is to achieve inner tranquility, mental health, and emotional harmony. Neglecting wrongdoing does not mean evading disagreements or suppressing feelings, but rather discovering the strength and wisdom to act with serenity and empathy.